Today we're launching the Lutz Pathfinder Pod and this is a vehicle which is designed to carry two people from the railway station in Milton Keynes to the shopping area about a, a mile away. And it's a driverless unit, so the idea is that people uh, order one of these on a mobile phone, they jump in and it takes them up to the shopping area uh, very easily. These trials have been funded £19 million worth of government money, pulling in lots of private sector partners to make sure the technology works in the real world. Um, but also publishing today a really comprehensive review of the law and the regulation in the UK to make sure there are no impediments to the trial going forward. There are sensors and camera systems front and rear to detect cyclists, pedestrians, dogs, um, paper bags as well, that's a challenge. And the advantage of this project is it brings um, academic institutions, so in this case Oxford University, together with industry, in this case RDM, a small manufacturer in the Midlands. So this is the autonomous pod. It's tiny, it's only 1.4 metres long, it's about half the length of a smart car. It needs to be because it's going to be used on the pavements in Milton Keynes. But you have to remember this is a development vehicle, so during the development phase there will always be a safety driver in the vehicle who can take control if necessary. So here we have one of the covers for the wheels, so it's a four-wheel pod and the wheels steer in the direction of the pod, so four-wheel steering, but you can also use it uh, for you know, normal things like indicating like we do on normal cars. Special for the pod is that it has this little indicator in the middle that tells you if the pod has detected objects that might be in the way uh, and the pod will reduce speed or even do an emergency stop. 90% of road accidents are so, in some way caused by human error. Driverless systems can take away a large part of that risk. The combination of British technology and sensible rules and regulations mean that we could lead the world in this field. The prize here of having safer driving on British roads, having public transport vehicles that really change the way cities are designed, and thousands of high value added manufacturing jobs for Britain, that's a prize worth having.